A pleasant good day to you and welcome to Revival Time Radio, broadcasting live from London, England. And uh, this is the Watchman Radio Program. I just want to share a, a short word that the Lord has laid upon my heart. And uh, it's all about time. My time. Where has it gone? This is a question that you may ask yourself from time to time. Where has my time gone? Time flies so fast, especially in these days. It comes and it goes and we do not see. We don't realize that he has come and gone. And what we have purposed in our hearts to do, we realize that we, we haven't done them. We can't find the time to do the things that we really need to do. And I want us to recognize today that this is just a trick of the enemy. This is just one of the resources that the enemy is using against us to, to draw us away from what God really created us to do, to worship him, to spend time with him, to build our relationship with him. And once he can get us to be so busy in this world, doing the things of the world, even looking about ourselves, if we can be so busy, if he can get us to consume our, our, our time in everything else beside the things that are of God, then he is quite happy and contented. He has been successful in drawing you away from the presence of God. And you see, once he can do that, he knows that he can get you to go where he knows that he is destined to be. Revelation 12 uh, chapter 12 verse 12 tells us that he has come down with great wrath because he knows that he has bought a short time. The enemy, he knows his time is short. He knows Bible prophecy even better than us. And so he knows very well that his time is coming to a close. All the things that he has enjoyed from the beginning, from since he has been doing all the nonsense he's been doing up to now, it is soon coming to an end and he knows that and so he's worried he's he's mad and so he has come down according to the scriptures with great wrath he wants all of us to go to hell with him he wants all human beings to burn in hell in the lake of fire and so he is doing all that he can, anything that he can. John 10.10 10 tells us he has, that he comes to kill, he comes to steal, and he comes to destroy. The enemy is not your friend. Whether you serve him faithfully or not, he don't like you. And he will pretend to be a friend, he will pretend to be someone uh, that will help you. But his ultimate aim is to get you into hell where you'll be tortured and tormented for all eternity. So he will use the time that we have in this world against us. Telling us that we have to do this. We have to make sure we get all our stuff done. And so we do this. We do these things. And we neglect the most important thing which is time spent with God so where has your time gone today is your time gone into the world into yourselves into somebody else into something else has your time been spent valuably has your time been spent where you know at the end of the day you will spend eternity in heaven God wants us to come back to him today he wants us to, to come to the realization that time spent with him is most valuable to you 
your spiritual walk to your eternal destination. That is why the enemy is, is focusing so much on keeping us busy, be busy doing everything else, but spending time with God, but doing the things that are of God. And so we, we, we do our housework, we, we go to work, uh, you know, we spend time with our friends, we do everything else. And then we say, after we've done that, we're going to spend some time with God. But I, but most of the time, I, I, I would submit to you 90% to 90, 95% of the times that after you've done all that you have set, uh, set down to do, that at the end of the day, you're so tired, you're so sleepy, and sometimes you even plain, just plain forget about God altogether and the time that you should spend with Him. But what the Lord wants us to do today is to come out from among them. As he says in, in the book of Second uh, Corinthians, uh, chapter 16, verse uh, 7. Or is it uh, chapter 6, verse 17, sorry. Second Corinthians, chapter 6. Uh, verse 7 it tells us to come out from among them and he will receive us he wants us to put him first just like he says in Matthew 6 33 put him first to seek him first don't do everything else and try to fit him in do it the other way around place him first put him at the top of your list of things to do make him priority and everything else fit those things around your time with him. So give God your best today. This is what God is asking of you. He wants you to give him your best. Your very best and nothing less. So purpose in your heart. You're going to spend such and such a time in prayer, you're going to spend such and such a time from this time to this time in Bible study, in Bible reading, in meditation. Quality time as well. Make that priority. And then after you've done that, after you've completed fully what you've purposed with regards to praying, with regards to the Word of God, once you've completed the time that you have promised, then fit everything else around it and you're surprised that when you put God first you might think oh I have so much to do how can I do that there's just too much to accomplish you'll be surprised that God will somehow supernaturally allow you to accomplish everything that you have to do once you put him first once you allow him to be with you, to spend time, to grow, to, 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 you know, to, to, to allow you to grow in Him, to allow you to grow closer to Him, to allow your relationship with Him to flourish. Once you, you know, you know, make Him priority, then God will help you out. He will help you with other things. Whether it be studying, whether it be, be, be housework, whether it be your job, your relationships, God, He will work it out for you. He'll help you along the way, supernaturally. And you'll be surprised, you'll wonder, how, 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 how can this be? But there's nothing too hard for God to do. There's nothing impossible for Him to do. He can do all things. And so put Him first. And watch Him work. Because time is short. The enemy himself, he knows that time is short. Do you know, Do are you coming to that realization that time is short and that you really need to be in the presence of God as much as you can, as much as possible? If you're not close to God, you cannot enjoy the protection, the guidance, the covering that you would get if you are close to him. The further that you are away from God, the better chance the enemy has to attack you. 
to tempt you and to be successful at it. And so to fight him, we have to be in the presence of the Lord at all times, under his shadow where there is protection, where he can guide us, where he can keep us, where the enemy cannot come and do what he wants and and have his own way. And so today, this is a word that the Lord is sending to you to watch your time. Don't spend it in the world. Don't spend it on nothing else but Him. Everything else, let that come secondary to Him. Spend time with Him in prayer. Spend time with Him in His Word. Make Him priority. Come out from the world. Forget about the things of the world, these temporal temporal things. The Bible tells us in the same scripture, Matthew 6, 33, we put God first, seek Him first, and His kingdom and His righteousness, that all other things will be added unto us. In other words, the things that we are so busy trying to, try, trying to get or trying to accomplish, the Lord has promised that if we put Him first, that he himself will add those things. He will allow us to get everything that we need to accomplish the work that we have to do in this world. All for his glory. He will do it. But he just wants us to get our priorities straight. He just wants us to prioritize our life or our lives and put him first above all else that way you're sure that you will be on the narrow path that leads to him that leads to life that path of righteousness otherwise you will be dangerously on the broad road to destruction and may not even know it don't be too busy with this world and the things of the world Thinking that's all, it's all natural. Oh yes, everybody is doing it. Not because everybody else is doing it. That means it is right or it is appropriate for you. If you're a child of God, God must come first. If you're serving Him, if you, you proclaim to be a follower of Jesus Christ, if you proclaim to be a Christian, you have to put Him first and follow His word. Obey His word. He says, if you love me, prove it. Obey me. Follow my commandments. And clearly the word of God wants us to be with him as much as possible. To spend time with him. To learn of of him and about him. To draw ourselves closer to him. To build our relationship with him. So this is the word for you today. Take it seriously. It's a very serious word. For this time and season, we know that the rapture is very close. Jesus is about to burst through those clouds. The the, the horns have been been sounding for quite a while. And one of these days, any moment from now, that time will come. That time that we are anticipating for so long, it will eventually come. Are you ready? Be ready. And this is one of the, the ways that you can ensure that you are ready should he come, should he call. Make sure that you are in his presence always, that you are always seeking him in repentance. Getting to know him the way that he wants you to know him. God, we should bless you. Thank you again for joining us for this another edition of the Watchman Radio Program. Uh, we are recording this live uh, here from the studios of Revival Time Radio here in London. Should you want to contact me, you can find me on Facebook. Or you can uh, leave me a message there. I have uh, two profiles, uh, uh, the Curtis Minister Roach and Minister Curtis Roach. Either of those profiles, you can uh, search for me there, leave me a message. I also have a page for this program, which is under the name The Watchman Radio Program. Uh, you can also 
uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel where this video will ultimately be uploaded. But I guess you will be watching it from, from there anyway. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll see the link at the bottom right of your screen there. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Roach underscore Curtis. I would encourage you to share these programs with your friends, with your families. Uh, let it go worldwide. Thank you once again for joining me. God richly bless you. Goodbye.